I would like to welcome our listeners to another edition of iGlobe News Pods. You can find all our podcasts on our YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and take a moment to visit our website at www.iglobenews.org to read all the articles, also the one which will accompany this interview. Sign up for our newsletter and become part of our iGlobe News community. Joining us today is Florian Lutz, a baker, YouTube sensation, and a local politician. Thank you, Flo, for coming on our show. Thanks for having me, Diana. Great to see you. Let me start by a brief introduction. You come from a family of bakers. Your family's bakery and confectionery business by the name of Lutz opened in 1964. What started as a small bakery has turned into a large company with many subsidiaries in and around Ludwigsburg, located in Germany. You and your sister, who is a confectioner, are in the process of taking on more responsibility and will one day take over the business in the third generation. In addition to being a baker, which I find one of the most attractive vocations one can have, you are an entrepreneur in your own right. During 2020, when all was shut down because of the pandemic, you started posting baking videos. You cover everything from breads, to cakes, to snacks, to sweets, and baking know-how. Your YouTube channel very quickly gathered a huge following. Some of your vid videos are being watched over 250,000 times. You have almost 21,000 YouTube subscribers. Your Instagram account has over 2,100 followers, and your community is very international and is growing by the day. Your videos are fun to watch and easy to follow. You post new videos weekly, every Thursday. In addition, you are a local politician and represent the free voters in German Freie Wähler in the county council and municipal council in Ludwigsburg. You are a Rotary member in Bittingheim Beihingen. You have a wife and you're expecting your first child in January. Welcome to our show. Thanks. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Um, so let me start just by asking you, how has your life changed by becoming such a great internet success? Huh. <laughs> well, the, the life itself hasn't changed at all. Um, I'm, still, I'm still a baker, um, basically, uh, and an entrepreneur. Um, but uh, it's gotten more digital. Uh, so let's say I reach more people with what I do and what I love to do. Uh, so that's a great thing. Um, and I really love doing that. Um, but the life itself, it got a little more stressful on the weekends because we are, we're, um, we're doing the videos on the week on the weekends mostly. Uh, so, um, it got a little more busy there, but it's, uh, it's what I love. It's, it's what I love to do. So, um, I don't consider it as work really. Um, I consider it as, um, doing what I, we're doing what I like, like more like a passion. I would say so. Um, I'm I'm more in the office um, in my company because because I'm the CEO there, so I'm not really in the bakery there anymore. Uh, so as a counterpart, kind of um, the videos uh, put me back to the bakery and put me back to baking, to actual baking. So that's a great thing. So you've actually already taken over the family business. Uh, I'm running it together with my sister and my dad. Um, okay. I'm in charge of, of sales, marketing, um, and everything strategic. Uh, my my sister is running the, the confectionery. You, you already said that. Uh, and my dad's in charge of the bakery. So uh, kind of the salty things. My sister more for the sweet things. And I'm selling all the things, basically, if you, if you <laughs> want to say that. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're... we're we're about to, we're in the process of taking it over from my dad. Um, he's, he's, uh, he will retire in, in a couple of years. Uh, so we're there in the middle of that. And uh, I will run the bakery together with my sister. I checked out your website and I saw that you, you bake, you have your confectionery business, but you also offer like small snacks and um, lunch menus. So do you also have like little restaurants attached to your bakery? Well, actually, we have pretty big restaurants attached uh, uh, by now. Uh, we started that in 2016. Well, we started earlier in 1990. We opened our first cafe um, where you could actually like dine in. Um, it was it was more for for cakes and, and having a coffee, 
more like a coffee house, uh, if you want to say that. Um, we did expand that in 2016 and um, put up a really, really big uh, event location and restaurant uh, combined with a bakery and a coffee house. Um, it uh, fits about 200 people. Um, and we recently took over another uh, coffee house uh, only this year uh, in uh, May. So we're heading towards a more gastronomic way, I would say, um, or uh, yeah, more of a restaurant, cafe, cafe way, coffee house way, if that makes any sense. Well, it makes it makes perfect sense, and all all the food there looked delicious, at least on on the pictures that were on on your website. Um, I read that you know being an internet star, um, YouTube star, has benefited your family business. Um, how will you integrate your online business with your bakery in the future? Well, um, there there are people asking uh, where they can uh, can buy this and can buy that. Uh, what I use in the in the videos, but that's not the main part. Um, we're trying to participate from from the internet. Um, it's more that people uh, get to know the value of the product better than before because they see how much work it is actually to produce a bread or a cake or a roll or anything we do or a pretzel. Um, and they appreciate it uh, a lot more in the source uh, when they know how much of, of a time you need, how uh, complicated it can be to, to put out just a simple bread out of the oven. Do you think, um, I mean, you everything moved to the internet. And also like often when I went shopping and I was thinking also maybe to bake something, they'd often be out of just look flour or yeast. Um, do you think starting this um, idea of yours, this great idea exactly now when many people actually had more time was a very opportune time to start? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Um, I mean, Business was slow last year, I have to say, because our cafes, restaurants, they were closed. Of course, the bakery stores, they were open. We could sell uh, like bread and rolls and everything, um, but we couldn't open the, the, the coffee houses and the restaurants. So first of all, uh, I don't want to say I got bored, but I say I, I got, I'll get more time on my hand now, a little bit uh, at least. Um, so I thought what to do about that. Uh, and secondly, uh, yeah, there was a great, I would call it even a hype um, of home baking uh, during the pandemic. And um, we thought, well, I want to start, I wanted to start um, a baking channel or I wanted to show people how to bake um, always. I always, always wanted to do that. And I thought that would be the best time because now people are watching, now the most people are watching. So we kind of serve them that wave with it. Well, you certainly did. And I have to say your videos are extremely entertaining and they're also really professional. Your channel is called Die Milchmiede, which translate into, um, correct me if I'm wrong, Flower Forge. Um, yeah. That's yeah. kind of what I found. Yeah, and correct. during your shows, you wear your characteristic baker's outfit with the logo Bread Sommelier. So right. my question is, how do you come up with your corporate design and logo? Well, uh, the logo itself um, was is a team effort, uh, actually. Uh, my my assistant uh, is very good in graphics uh, and uh, in video editing, and uh, she I, I asked her if she wanted to give us some input about the logo, and she said absolutely. I would, would love to do that, and um, so she did a couple of um, a couple of. Uh, Designs? Designs, thank you. Uh, and we, we talked about it, and it was just great. Um, the name itself, uh, I always, uh, I, I wanted to, I just wanted to name it that. Yeah, I just was like, what what do I do there? And basically, I do everything with flour. It, it could be salty, it could be sweet, it could be anything in between. Um, but flour is always, almost always involved. So um, to cover the whole thing, we said we need something with flour, and what do I do with that flour? I can I can afford it, yeah. And so the name was born, um, and we build up on that name, um, and then kind of yeah, it kind of fit. Just uh, it felt right. 
so we so we did that and um yeah it was came out good i think at least and the brand sommelier is actually a, a, a different thing um i took that course in 2019 um and uh, became a brand sommelier in uh, Weinheim, which is the only place in the world where you can become a a, a really a, a real brand sommelier you have to do a what is a bread sommelier? Maybe explain because I also am not so into the yeah. the scene. Maybe yeah. yeah, it's it's kind of it's a pretty new uh, it's a pretty new thing. Um, it is you have to be first of all you have to be a master baker, a German master baker, or something compared to that. If you're not, you can't take the course. Uh, so it is kind of the the highest um, highest graduation uh, maybe uh, in baking uh, in Germany. Uh, and what you do is you get to know bread in all different manners, in all kinds of, in all ways, in, in, in the history of bread, the names of bread, the international uh, bread variety, German bread variety. Uh, you get uh, sensoric, um, sensoric mentoring. You, 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 you kind of, um, how do you say that? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you you smell bread, you taste bread, uh, you try awesome. to okay. you try to uh, filter out the different nuances uh, of the bread, and then you fit it uh, to different uh, to different um, other wine. Okay. Uh, if, for example, wine, cheese, meat, uh, cool. all these things, um, mm -hmm. and then you build it up all around bread, and that's what you basically do for one year. Uh, and after that, uh, you take a couple of tests, a lot of tests, actually. Uh, you have to write an essay, a 60-page 60, 60 essay um, about bread. Um, okay. <laughs> and after that, cool. uh, if you're lucky, uh, you can graduate and become a bread sommelier. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, pretty wild, yeah. So it's taking the bread experience to the next, oh, next metal, metal, supersonic yeah. level here. Wow. Absolutely. Yeah, you, got, you have to love bread for that. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I really love bread. I totally love yeah. bread. Me yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I love nothing more than like the smell of freshly baked bread. Like if you go to a bakery and you have that smell, it's just like, ah, oh, it's just unbelievable. I mean, yeah. I hope you live close to your bakery because, well, I guess you, you I bake. I so. my bakery. Exactly. Um, I, got my office. I got my office right above the bakery. Uh, so I smell it every day. Uh, I come in, it smells like bread. I, I go for lunch, it smells like bread. And I go home, it smells like bread. I mean, it's... Wow. Uh, the job can't get any better than that. So No, that's unbelievable. Wow. And I can eat it I, all the time if I want to. <laughs> <laughs> and it's always fresh. I envy you. Um, and also, what I also noticed is the music which you have playing in the background. Now, I read some of the comments and some people like it. Some people are more neutral about it, to put it like that. Yeah. Um, so what made you come up with the idea of the music? And um, obviously you had it composed. Um, did you have a certain idea how it was supposed to sound like? Because like it's the full package in German, you'd say Gesamtkunstwerk. So you have the visual, the audio. I'm afraid we can't smell it. That would, of course, be the absolute um, top of the line if you could, could uh, you know, give us that experience as well. Maybe you'd like to share with us a bit um, how this music came uh, to be associated with your Milchmiede. Sure. Um, well, uh, to be honest, we didn't compose it. I have to say that um, we got it from a from a website called. It's called. I, can I can I say names in the in the, in the interview? Is that okay? Sure, if you want to. Uh, it's from Epidemic. Uh, it's a music platform, basically, uh, where you can uh, download music for YouTube, for Instagram, for whatever you have. You pay for it, of course, uh, and we do, of course. Uh, we didn't steal some music or anything, um, but we did uh, find it by we, we brainstormed basically. Um, okay. So my my wife, uh, who's uh, by the way behind the camera, she's the, she's a camera a man, camera woman in that case. Um, uh, my assistant and me, we brainstormed through Epidemic, uh, and we thought what what fits the channel and what fits me and my personality and. Um, we we quickly sorted out some elevator music, which was just simply boring. <laughs> we sorted yeah. out some some hard rock, and we sorted out some metal. Uh, but then came up in a, in a mixture in between. Uh, we wanted it to be a little um, upbeat. Uh, we wanted it to be uh, refreshing in a way. We wanted it to be 
I would say a little crisp, maybe. Um, mm -hmm. tart, and um, we don't want, we didn't want it to be boring. Um, and this song, we we heard it. We all three heard it. We we had each of us had a container uh, on epidemic where we put our favorites in. Yeah. And this was one of the, the very, very few songs each of us three put in that container and, and we, we compared the containers uh, then and saw, okay, that song. Everybody had that as a favorite and, and we listened to it and we said, that's about right. Uh, and we did have some issues in the beginning um, because, uh, because of the volume. Um, people were not quite happy with the volume because they said it's overlaying my voice, my voice and um, it's just simply too loud. Uh, so we tuned it down, um, and then tuned it down again, and now it's it's really just in the background. And I just don't want to have a some awkward silence in the in the back uh, if I'm not talking or if I'm just doing things. I just want something to go on all the time, and that's I think what makes it more ent entertaining. Well, there's nothing awkward about your videos. They're always um, very professional, so I doubt there'd be any awkward moments there. And I personally like the music. I think it's it's nice. You know, I don't find it very um, intrusive or anything like that. It just is very upbeat and puts you in a good mood. Um, your English is outstanding. And um, yes, congratulations. But your videos are all in German and you have followers from all over the world. So my question to you is, are you going to branch out into another language like English, I take it, or are you going to stick to German? Well, then it is a very, very good question. And um, I, I, I don't want to lie about it. We thought about it. Uh, we thought about, we still think about it um, <laughs> just to, uh, just to um, broadcast some of the videos, at least in English uh, and do them again. What we're trying to, what we're trying to do now is that the channel is, only up for a year uh we, and we took a we took a quite a big break in the last uh weeks and months uh just to um collect new ideas just to uh relax a little um it was stressful when when uh, lockdown stopped because i have a lot of biz a lot of work uh in the business uh so i had to focus on that for a little bit but we're gonna uh, uh, we're gonna um, start over or start again um, with uh, new videos uh, in a couple of weeks. Um, and what we're trying to, what we were trying to do is, we wanted to find out which videos perform really well uh, and which videos nah, were so semi good. Uh, and after that, um, we would like to do like the the top hits uh, and the best uh, of best, the best of. of yeah probably. Um, and do those in English. So that's kind of the idea we're, we're uh, trying to follow. So which of your videos have done outstandingly and why do you think they've done so much better than the others? Is it because of what you were baking or did you do something especially different for those videos? Well, number one, uh, and there's it's, it's number one spot is, is uh, was, and will always be sourdough. Um, sourdough, the one that you name, you name your sourdough, right? Or you yes, name? Yes, absolutely. You do have to name it. Um, okay. <laughs> one of mine is called Lucille. My 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 um my wife loves French names, so she's called it Lucille, and it was like, okay, let's call it Lucille. Okay. Then. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, that's one of the absolute uh, top hits. It's it's one of the the best, oh, most watched. It is the most watched video uh, on the channel. Um, it's. I guess it's because it's, it all starts with that. At least it's, that's what people think. Uh, I mean, you can also bake, bake very, very good bread with, with yeast or uh, different uh, methods um, of uh, dough um, rising. Uh, but people love sourdough. They, they just love it. And I love it too, of course. Um, I love it too. So, so everybody wants to find out how to make a sourdough just from scratch, uh, just from nothing but flour and uh, water. And I show people. Um, and because it's, it's fairly easy, uh, to be honest. Um, and that is uh, one of the real yeah, um, top hits. Then the pretzels were pretty good. Um, I mean, that's one of our specialties here in, in Swabia. Um, mm -hmm. So, so um, I know my ways of making a pretzel and I show people that and, and they loved it. Um, because people like pretzels all over the world in the States too. And all I mean, over. They're yeah, they're everywhere and, and they come from here. Uh, I mean, there are some in Bavaria, but it's 
More like spirit. <laughs> We're talking about spirit presses. Yeah. Okay. All right. They're completely um, different. Completely. Completely different. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that was a pretty good one. Uh, and then bread. Uh, I really have to say bread is, is uh, really liked by the community. Um, all kinds of bread, actually. The, the more complicated it gets, the more people like it. Uh, I don't know if, if everybody is, is trying to, to bake it uh, at home, actually, or if people just like to watch how, it, how it's being produced and, and how, it, how it shapes and how it rises and how it forms and, and everything. Um, but bread is, is really, um, is really a, a top seller, yeah. Bread is a top seller. Um, I watched in preparation for our interview. I, I did watch a number of um, all kinds of your in, of your of your videos from all sorts of um, different areas, and I also thought the um, videos were very interesting. Um, the ones maybe that weren't clicked so often. For instance, there was a video how to make your own like yeast water. Is that what you mm -hmm. called it when you, when you put yeah. the plums in and everything? Yeah. I thought that was extremely interesting because those it are is. just things like no one knows about. So, I mean, I advocate those, those are the videos that you should also share and not only your top sellers. Cause I think um, that's like information that no one really has except for the super experts. Yeah. And it's really easy also. Um, yeah. It's, it's even definitely. more, it's even easier than making, rising your own uh, sourdough actually. Um, yeah. The, the taste is, is very um, distinctive. Uh, it's a very particular taste uh, of, of bread when you bake it with a yeast water. It's super interesting. Um, it's a little sweetish. Uh, it's got a little, a, a slight light sweet touch, but nothing that you would say it's a sweet bread. Um, and you, you do, you can, if, you, if, you really, um, if you're really trying, you can, taste the fruits a little bit in the bread which makes it absolutely interesting um and yummy uh, yeah absolutely mm. um so yeah more power to yeast water absolutely. more power to yeast water um you're great on tv people obviously love you um you have a great personality um can you see yourself on television one day you know having like your own baking show you know they have like the great british baking show I love yeah. it. I, I think I've watched all of it. They have the same um, show, I think, in the U.S. Um, you could have like the great German, Austrian, German-speaking baking show. How about that? <laughs> well, um, first of all, thanks uh, for the compliments. Um, it's really flattering. But um, I, I'm quite, I, I would say I'm quite um, confident on YouTube right now. Um, if someone would come up and, and ask me, uh, there were people coming up and saying, you've got to be on television. And, and I was like, well, I'm quite fine on YouTube right now. Um, but if some big TV show would come up and say, hey, Flo, do you want to do a show with us? I probably wouldn't say no, but um, I'm not kind of, uh, how do you say, I'm not, I'm not forcing it. You know, I'm not um, chasing a TV show um, of my own now. Um, I'm really happy what I, with what I do um and uh, i love i love that on youtube and uh, if someone something comes up then sure why not i'm sure at some point something will come up um so you're so versatile um but in addition in addition to everything else that you do you also are a local politician um right. so how do you find time to also be a local politician and what what are you advocating um, as a local politician? Well, then, I, um, first of all, I don't find the time. I don't have it. <laughs> I just, I just uh, need to really schedule. Um, that's that's basically it. Um, after that, after the after the show, I'm, I'm I'm heading off right to one of the council meetings. Um, and after that, I'm, I'm preparing something else on on my laptop, and and then the day is over. Um, so I'm. I was never someone who who could sit and, and just watch and sit still and do nothing. Um, it's also if if I that's why I was so not bored, but I was I was looking for someone during the pandemic because I couldn't I couldn't just uh, be at home or be in the office and do nothing. Um, it's just not the way I am. Um, it's it's something I have to do all the time, and I love the I love the city council work. I love the um, 
to the county council work. Um, it's really uh, it's really challenging at, at times, um, but I love to be able to change things uh, and take things into my own hands, uh, and I can do that there. I can really um, help the community. I can really work with the community. I love that. Um, so I'm trying. I guess I'm just trying to make a day longer. <laughs> are there any particular projects um, that are close to your heart that you'd like to share with us? And politics, you mean? Yep. Uh, let's see right now. Um, there was, oh, I, I wouldn't have to think about that really. Uh, okay. One of the biggest projects. One of the biggest issues here in, in Ludwigsburg is probably mobility. Uh, there's a lot of traffic. Um, okay. So we're we're um, we're we're uh, trying to to uh, get a hold of that somehow um, to get less traffic jams uh, to get less uh, yeah uh, pollution here or less uh, more park more parking outside of the city. Um, I think as an entrepreneur, um, it is always uh, one of my um, one of my real uh, what would you say one of my projects from my, from, my, from the heart uh, to make the the city work like to make the city um, attractive as a shopping area you know yes so people would like to come to Ludwigsburg and, and shop yeah. there um, and go to the restaurants go to the cafes uh, just spend their time there um, and do not uh, always shout about uh, heavy traffic bad parking yeah. High, um parking rates and all these things. Yeah, yeah I think that's um, something which is very special in all over Europe is that our inner cities are still, you know, regardless of the size of the town that you live in, they're still actually very vibrant. Um, yeah. And we, we don't have this shopping mall mentality where, you know, often the inner city will just die away and everything moves into a shopping mall. And I think right. that's wonderful because... Um, yeah. I think that's something one would one should really fight for. Yeah, and I think that's really something um, me and my party uh, want to keep alive uh, and keep vibrant. Can you see yourself just becoming a full time politician? Clear answer to that: No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> no. um, I would I would like to do it, and I think I um, I would have fun doing it. Uh, to be honest. Um, but what I love to do is um, leading my own company and baking. And these two things uh, combined, I, I just do every day. Um, and I don't see why I would give that up for a professional job as a politician. Yeah, I, I totally can see where you're coming from. But the fact is you have a really, really huge following. And you could use this voice that you have created for yourself um, also to broadcast other areas, issues that you're very passionate about. Have mm -hmm. you ever thought of using the platform for other purposes as well? Yeah, you no, I, I, I try to strictly, um, I try to strictly avoid that. Um, one platform, the uh, Mirch Media is uh, only and really strictly only for baking, um, for having fun, uh, for showing people uh, the, the the craftsmanship I love. Uh, my private channels, such as my Facebook profile or my personal uh, Instagram profile, I use for for political messages every once in a while. Um, they do get a lot of attention uh, every once in a while too. Um, they you do go to the local newspapers or to local TV station or something like that. Uh, but I really want to separate that from the business and baking and politics. Um, so uh, I'm really trying to to draw a line there. Yes, I, I understand. Um, I did read through some of your interviews and some of the issues that, that you, you had been commenting on. Um, if you were talking to an audience out there and young entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs of any age, um, what advice would you give them? What qualities does one need as a YouTube star? And what is the secret to your success? Well, um, there is actually no secret. Do what you love and do it good, and it's going to turn out good. As simple as that. Um, if you do what you love, then you're going to be authentic. And 
I would consider myself uh, that um, because I really do what I love. I love baking. I love showing people what I do. Um, and then uh, people believe you. Um, people believe that you uh, that you can do it actually, and that you have skills in that too. Um, and you get better with it every time. Every video gets better. Every with every video, I learn things, um, and and that's and that's the fun in that. And as long as you have fun in, in that, then it's just going to turn out great. Um, then surround yourself with people who love that thing too. Um, I work with with my wife. She loves that, of course. Um, she loves me, so she loves baking. So. <laughs> She's like, comes, comes with the package. The full um, package. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, and uh, my assistant, uh, she is really great in, in, in uh, graphic design and video editing. She loves that. So it's kind of a symbiosis of that, of, of all that. Um, and if you work with these people, uh, then it comes out professional. Um, if you put some effort in it uh, and you put some some heart in it, uh, then it's just it's just right. So it's important to have your heart in what you do and to believe in it yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and as long as you do uh, that, it's going to be good. Then there's no way to. Yes, I agree with you. I mean, if you're passionate about something then you have all the right prerequisites. Um, we don't know how it'll go, but you have to be passionate about it. We didn't sure. know how it go. We didn't know how it would go. I mean, no. uh, we didn't know at all. We just started. We, we thought, should we do it? And we were like, yeah, <laughs> well, yeah let's do it. Uh, so we did it. Uh, and we put on some videos and, and it, it started really slow. You know? it, it really, we were like, we were craving for followers. We were like, Every day we were like watching, I was like, oh, there's one more and there's one more. <laughs> and, and at some point, uh, one of the videos just went went through the roof uh, and we okay. were like, what is going on? And from that day on, uh, it was all good because we didn't have to worry anymore uh, for more followers. It, they just came because it was it was just, uh, they, they just liked it. And, and in German, we'd say uh, the, the knot would explode it. Yeah, the knoten ist geplatzt, yeah. Um, and not and that, exploded. Yeah, and that that uh, happened that uh, that one day, and and then it was it was just it was just fine. We're just really happy. So, were you nervous before before posting that first video, before pressing that button? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, we were we were really really nervous uh, because we showed it to a couple people, of course, before we uploaded it. Um, but we we got the videos uh, ready just in time. Um, we wanted to start with three with videos. We did that. All, we did that. Um, we, we accomplished that. But it was a struggle uh, because we didn't know what we were doing. You know, we, 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 we watched YouTube to know how to do YouTube. Um, okay. So, yeah, and we, we just started from, from with nothing. Um, we collected some ideas. Uh, we said, okay, what, what do we want to do first? What do we need first on the channel? And we wanted to give our audience something that when people come to the channel, when they come to uh, to YouTube on, on our channel, they, they find something. And if we just had one video, uh, people would, would have been like, oh, yeah, okay, he's got one video, what's that? Uh, so we started with three. Um, and it was a struggle to have them all ready by the set date we had. And we had a deadline and we wanted to keep that deadline and we did that. Um, but before that, uh, we wanted to show it to some people and see if something was really off or really wrong and we couldn't couldn't uh, upload it. Uh, but that was fortunately not the case. So we, we uploaded it and it turned out all right. All right. Well, I'm very glad you did. And I, what I think people also really like about um, your interactions is that you respond to people's comments, you take them into account. I was reading through some of them and I saw that you you respond to them and, and people really like that. and. Um, so it's, it's, you could say a real community in that sense. Yeah. Which we're trying to do that. We cannot respond to every comment. Um, it's just too many, uh, to, to be honest, um, we're <laughs> trying to, and also some of the questions just, they come over and over and over again when we answered it, uh, five questions earlier, uh, and people don't read through that. Of course, uh, we pinned actually some, some of the answers and people still asking, uh, what is that? And what, the, what is this? We can't answer to that, of course. Um, but yeah, we're trying to, um, we're trying to engage with our uh, community. We're trying to talk with them. 
Uh, we do have a, a newsletter, or we did have a newsletter when we arrived before we took the break. Um, we will do that again uh, because I just want to, um, I can do get a little more personal, I would say, in a newsletter. Um, I could just uh, fill them in with some personal news, uh, mm -hmm. of one or the other. And uh, so, yeah, I, I really like that. I'm, I'm, a kind, I'm, a, I'm somebody who, who likes to, to chat with people and, and, yeah, communicate. And so we do that on the channel, too. So thank you so much um, for coming on our show, for Absolutely. sharing your, your wonderful YouTube channel, which is Die Meishmiede for all of our listeners out there. Go out, watch it. It's really fun. They're very entertaining. Um, thank you, Flo, um, for sharing your insights. Absolutely. And, um, thank you very much for having me. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I hope... Uh, I hope everybody gets to baking now. <laughs> I do too. I love I love bread. Everyone should be a baker. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you.